It's not random. It's not a random question. Uh, it's quite a important question. But uh, one important thing for us to understand, to understand this question and other questions like it, is that Allah has created us to use our own capacity of intellect and ability to attain his pleasure and Jannah. There are so many things that we will not understand because he has not created us to understand those things. So when it comes to a question like this, we will say he continued as he was and he will continue as he was. So he's always been showing mercy, he's always been creating, he's always been uh, providing, he's always been uh, showing compassion, he's always been accepting repentance, he's always been all of those things. Don't come about with the creation of man. Allah is far above that. But at the same time, so we we affirm for Allah everything that he affirms for himself right now and that's always existed in eternity and will continue in eternity, infinite. But at the same time, so that's what we know of him, but at the same time we do not go into issues for the purpose for what we have not been created for. Even I mean, even if you knew the answer to that question right there, or were to guess an answer, would that change anything? Would that change the course that you need to take for your life? The answer would obviously be no, because you still need to be obedient to him. Whether you know the answer to the question or not, it doesn't affect your ability to be a Muslim and to do good deeds and to be a good human being, etc. So uh, there is a divide there slightly, where we say, look, we do know certain things about Allah, but there are certain things that we don't know about Allah, but all of those things that we never have been told about the unseen that we do not know. I mean, there's so many things about the soul. Where does it go and what does it look like? Uh, what does the devil look like? What does shaitan look like? I mean, all of those things. What does Jannah look like? All of those things. We do not need to know those things. Because, number one, it's not within the capacity or ability to understand them. However, and the same thing, and sorry, that's number one. And then the second thing, I would say, is... Uh, we don't need to know those things because everything we need to know has been explained to us. Hope that helps. Allah knows best.